I had plowed through water and we're painting wheels white. <laughs> we went mudding and we installed a subwoofer. And we finished Big Sexy. If it starts again. Oh, he's stuck! Oh, no, we're just getting uh, the truck out of the uh, mud. Where are my pants? Because the tires are rusty, kind of. <laughs> Not kind of, they are. Well, this thing kind of came undone a little bit. So, just gonna. Literally, that was the only nice, clean piece of chrome eh. in your truck. Hey, rip it off right there and leave the. Yeah, just leave that. Gotta wash it off at least. Leave it. We, we just did this. Uh, then we're gonna spray it off and paint the tires. Because if you look, the the tires are really rusty and they look horrible. So we're gonna repaint them either white or silver. Yet to be decided. <laughs> That's my little trailer light hookup thingy. That the wires are kind of fell, fell off. They almost fell off a little bit. And uh, my toolbox is unhooked now. I went over a little bump. Okay, that's fine. Just gotta give it some time. Just, just baby it. Hey, do you want me to pet it? Just give it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, it'll work now. Don't turn right, you'll flip it. What? What? <laughs> Leaf spring. <laughs> Like a glove. Ah! No, it doesn't matter how hard you turn on the stop. That's right. Dude. <laughs> We're gonna wash off the mud. With more mud. We gotta definitely get this. Off. Well, I got the spray paint and stuff inside, so I'm gonna run. Get some sandpaper? <laughs> no. Watch out, Kenny, I'm backing up. No, that's no. Hold on, I got some. No. Why not? That's just a good idea. Get the towel off of it. Keegan, what were you gonna do? Yeah, I think the extra part should run off. No, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I know, that's what I was gonna do. Why would we just use the shop back? It's a lot more efficient. Would you like to hop in with me? Don't turn anything stupid, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> the wheel just came off the ground from him sitting there. Hey, you know what you noticed? What I just noticed, Luke? This is the first time you're actually doing work and I'm the one laying around, and I really appreciate it, Luke. Right. I think that's Justin and his Volvo. Yeah, it must be. I'm gonna paint this thing.
we're gonna take a break from working, which we haven't been doing much at all yet. Keegan is going to, or Little Debbie, is going to attempt his first ever mudding experience in his Durango. Let's see how that goes. Oh, he's gonna get so stuck. Oh! Go, 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 yeah! Hey Keegan, how's it going? You tell me. Dude, I love, I love you. Yeah. Keegan, I love you too, bud. I'm not talking about Okay, you. <laughs> all right. When it's going about 60 down the road, no one's gonna know, but like, oh man, he really needs to take out the rust off, off his wheels. No, I'm getting, but I'm gonna buy on the buy other hand, room. it won't go 60, so, it, more like 35, so, and. Hey, the back tires went 55 one time. Okay, and? In mud, that's like nothing. Hey, hey, Myers hey, is like, hey, how, Myers what is what like, what would you do? You get black shirt paint. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, it looks better already. <laughs> All right, so Luke installed a subwoofer in Keeg's Durango, and then it stopped working, and we don't know why. Yeah, we think we blew the subwoofer up, actually. Or it could be just a uh, fuse, but we don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have to see. Okay. This sounds stupid. What what exactly do amps do? Uh, okay, so I'll explain it to you. So <laughs> I don't know what yours is, but most most radios are 60 amps, right? Or at least the ones I've dealt with. And that's about how much it takes to power this, like the normal screen? speakers in yeah. your car. And since this is like, I don't even know how much this is. This is like way more than that. So it, it couldn't even move it. We just sit there and wouldn't do anything. And all the amplifiers do as they take the power from the battery and they amplify how much power it is I got you. to move it. One thing I do know is that this was loose. That, that, that's probably not a problem, but it is something to fix. If you come and look at this, the one that's not painted, and you come look at that one and you're like, man, I did a really good job. We're about to prime the bed. Um, we did spray a little bit of it in gray primer, but then we ran out. And I found some red primer in our garage that we used to paint our 67 GTO in. Uh, 92, so almost 32 years ago, or 30 some odd years ago, I don't know. But it's still good somehow. So we mix it up, and we're about to spray it, and then we're gonna spray the cab. And then I think after that, we're ready for paint. After we wet sand, we'll touch up, and a bunch of other crap. Let's flash back to when we first got the truck. We're gonna put a big Dale Earnhardt sticker. Right, Hunter? All like molded together. $200. We went to the house and the truck was completely full of trash inside and out. We found three computers in the truck. Computer monitors. Remember the first three days that we had it, we, it went really quick. We had the bed off. We had the truck running, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we had all, you know, we had the brakes off of it and everything. I think we had the brakes on it within the third day or the fourth day. 
So it went really quick, but then it started to hold because we found more and more and more problems. The transmission, I totally forgot about that. The other one was totally smoked and shot. It looked like it had been through a train wreck. <clears throat> Luckily, we got one that was in a wreck. Put it in the truck, it works totally fine. But it has been a long journey to get here. And it is totally worth it.